What's up guys, Grim here. And this is the first of the Dream Soul Bundle giveaway winner videos. Now, if you don't know what's going on, we are basically giving away four of the Dream Soul Bundles, which is the Arbiter, the Oracle, the Liberator, and the Physician. You get all of those souls if you're a winner in this contest. In each one of my first impression videos of the new souls, we are giving away one of the bundles in each one of those videos, and all you have to do is leave your name and server in the comment section below in those videos, and be sure to be subscribed and you will be entered in to be one of the winners. There's also another way to enter. If you go to my Facebook page, click on the like button and leave your name in the thread where I'm giving away the bundles, you will be entered into this contest as well. But this is only the first of the winner videos, so if you have not entered yet, there are three other videos for you to enter into or leave your name on the Facebook page. So without further ado, the first winner of the Dream Soul Bundle giveaway, and this is from the Liberator video, is... Congratulations, man. It's somebody from my home server of Wolfsbane. So we will be getting in contact with you just shortly to give you your massive prize. Unfortunately, we did have a winner before this person. It was somebody from the EU servers, but we looked and seen if they were a subscriber to my channel and they were not. So unfortunately, they lost out even though they were the winner. So make sure that you are subscribed because if you win and then we look and see if you're a subscriber and you're not, unfortunately, you are disqualified. But there are three more ways to win. There are three more of the first impression videos that we have not determined a winner in. So make sure that you go to those videos and leave your name and server in the comment section below and be sure to be subscribed. And we will be making videos on the winners of those contests coming up. Good luck everyone. What's up guys, Grim here. Today we're gonna to go over how to optimize your Rift game to run as smooth as possible so you can kill lots of people in PvP. Now this is specific for GeForce card users as well as Rift players, so if you're not in those two categories, most likely this isn't gonna help you all that much. Now there are a lot of different settings that you can do and things that you can change in your computer, but I'm not gonna go over a lot of that because a lot of it could be harmful to your computer or cost you money. I mean, because there's a lot of things that you can do such as upgrading your hard drive into a solid state hard drive that is pretty obvious is going to improve your performance anything that you upgrade on your computer is most likely going to help your performance in the game so i'm not going to go over all that stuff such as ram and all that but uh there are also other things that you can do that could potentially be harmful to your computer but could help your performance in the game and i'm not gonna like tell you guys to do all that stuff because i don't I don't want to cause harm to your systems. I mean, people do stuff like disable their uh, Windows Restore. They uh, turn off Windows Arrow mode, which isn't all that bad. But uh, they also do stuff like go into the game files and rewrite them so that it bypasses a lot of the processes so that your computer isn't running a lot of other stuff before it runs Rift, but I'm not gonna go into all that because I don't want to uh, get too complicated with this, nor do I want you to potentially harm your computer. But let's get right into changing your settings for your GeForce graphics card in order to make Rift run better. And as you can see, I've got the GeForce Experience program loaded up here, and you can download this for free on the GeForce website. Uh, it is a free download, so it will automatically change your settings to optimize them so that they run the best that they can with the best graphics that your system can handle. However, that's not really what we're shooting for, but I'm going to go over this just, just to be going over it. So you load up the GeForce Experience program here, go to Games, and go to Rift. And as you can see, it has the current settings that I have on my computer for this game right over here, and then the optimal settings to make it run as 
beautifully as possible in the game with the best graphics that your system can handle. And then you can just click the optimize button right there and it will set it to the optimized settings right there and it works really well. However, that's not what we're shooting for being PVPers because it doesn't take into consideration stuff like uh, Conquest, which is a lag fest. So we're going to be changing things around other than that. All right, go ahead and close down GeForce Experience and the next program that we're going to be using here is called nvidia control panel and normally you get this if you are just you download the drivers for your nvidia and you can go down into your system uh processes down here at the bottom right and be able to pull it up so we want to load this up and then go over to manage 3d settings over here on the left side and that will open up this screen right here and then you go to program settings and then click uh, Rift, the Rift.exe file right there, the executable, so that it will load up the settings for your Rift file there. And we want to go down to power management mode here. And normally this is set to use global settings adaptive, but that's not what we're wanting. We want prefer maximum performance there. And what that's going to do is it's going to make your GPU, your graphics card basically, run the best that it can for this specific program. So it will use your graphics card a lot more and heat up your graphics card a lot more. So it shouldn't cause any problems at all, but if you've got an old tower with no working fan in it and there's a bunch of cobwebs in there yeah most likely you're going to trap a lot of heat and it may damage your GPU if you do not have any kind of good ventilation into your system so make sure that you don't use this setting if you've just got real poor housekeeping in the tower of your computer or if your fans aren't working because you need to be able to cool down your system whenever you pump up your GPU like this all right, let's move to in-game settings now and let's get those lined out for the best performance in PvP. So we are going to go down, and you can't see it on the screen really because at the bottom left, it's my body covering up the area. But you go down to the little icon at the bottom left of your screen that looks like a computer screen. Click on it, which is your system uh, settings, and then go to settings in that. And it'll pop up this thing. Uh, First, you can go to just click on video there, and you can't see my mouse, so hopefully that you can follow along all right. But it'll go to the video basic settings, and you can move down your resolution some to make it a little bit better, but it really won't make it all that much better. One of the things that will make it a, a decent amount better, I guess, would be changing your window mode. Just regular full screen is something that does help out some. So if that's something you're willing to do, go ahead and click on full screen and run it at that and you'll probably get a, a decent amount of improvement in your FPS. Next, we go down to advanced under the video settings here. And as you can see, mine is set to the preset of medium and that's what i like to run at i used to run at high and i can definitely run at ultra but whenever you're trying to record videos and stuff like that ultra is kind of a stress on your computer and high setting was pretty cool but i found that my best performance was around medium i didn't really want to go below medium because yeah we're not really looking to try to make the game look the best we're trying to get the best performance so that we can kill people in PvP, but I don't know, low setting and minimum setting is almost too low to where you're almost playing Minecraft. <laughs> and, and that kind of graphics is just not what Rift is for me, so I went ahead and just set it on medium. Okay, with the medium settings, it will move all your stuff pretty low here. Uh, you can play around with any of these settings and the more you go down on them the more likely that you're going to get a better uh, frame rate so yeah move them down all you want see what you think looks all right just don't really try to go up too much uh, try to keep it kind of low down here at the cloak setting uh, I have mine on low because I want to see people's cloaks and stuff but you can turn that to none 
and it will increase your uh, your performance, so to say. Uh, Anti-aliasing, put that to none. And shadows, you want to have that at none because shadows right now will bog down your computer a little bit and you don't want that. And any of these, specifically uh, the particle quality, uh, quantity and all of that, that will tone down on how drastic the the effects from spells and everything are you're you're not going to have that big explosions of fireballs and stuff like that so yeah uh, turning that down will probably help quite a bit but that's the only things i'm going to recommend right now because i don't want to say too much more that could be uh very bad for your system so i listed some of the stuff at the beginning of the video uh whenever i was first doing this so if you want to do those things, that's up to you. You can look them up or you can just uh, turn off the things that I did mention that were pretty obvious what would uh, what would be able to be done. But really, I don't recommend all of those things. Uh, yeah, just upgrade uh, your solid state. Upgrade to a solid state hard drive if you want and uh, get another graphics card and stuff like that if you're wanting to go that route. But these settings right here will help you a lot, and I hope this video helps quite a bit. Uh, be sure to hit the like button if you found it helpful, the, the thumbs up button, and make sure you're subscribed. And, uh, oh, I was going to mention that we do have a guild on Wolfsbane server. Uh, if you're wanting a casual PvP guild to be in, uh, we run Warfront matches, Conquest matches together and everything, and it's very low stress. Nobody's ever going to chew you out for not healing enough or performing good enough or anything like that. We're just here to help each other and play together, and nobody's going to chew anybody out. So be sure to join for that reason, not to just to play with me, because there's sometimes I'm not on for a couple days and people get disgruntled if they join just for that reason. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you next time.